from the SiliconANGLE Media office in Boston, Massachusetts. It's the Cube. Now, here's your host, Stu Miniman. Hi, and welcome to a special Cube conversation here in our Boston area studio. I am Stu Miniman, and we're digging in with Dell EMC on data protection in the multi-cloud era. Happy to join, uh, welcome to the program. First time guest, Nelson, Nelson Shu, who is the Director of Solutions Marketing with Dell EMC. Nelson, great to see you. Great to be here, thank you, Stu. All right, so you and I were both uh, at KubeCon plus Cloud Native Con uh, with about 12,000 of our friends in the open source <laughs> community uh, mm -hmm. down in San Diego, California. Uh, you know, why don't you bring us in first? It's probably not the first place that people think of uh, when they think of Dell EMC, so explain a little bit what the team was doing and the announcements there, uh, and uh, what, what you're seeing at the show. Sure, no, I appreciate that. Um, it was a first time for, for Dell Technologies. Um, it was kind of our coming out party, if you will, into, into the cloud native realm. Um, we've got a tremendous amount of momentum, uh, especially obviously around Kubernetes, uh, between what we've done in the data protection space uh, with our PowerProtect software for Kubernetes, uh, what we've done in our storage realm, in the work that we've done around container storage interfaces. So a lot of that was coming out and in, uh, introducing that to to uh, the KubeCon and CloudNativeCon um, attendees. Um, I think it was a, per a really good time, you know. Yeah, so, so Nelson, we've been watching you know, the, the role of the developers, the discussion of DevOps, of course, is uh, central what's happening not only at KubeCon, but in many of the cloud shows uh, there. Uh, I, I know at VMworld, uh, you, know, you see what's happening on with the VMware <coughs> code team. So I explain how kind of the, the Dell Technologies Cloud partnership with VMware, how that, how that all pulls together uh, for uh, activities that, that your organization's doing with the, within the DevOps. Right. Well, you know, you, you, you know that we're, right there, right? It's, it's all about DevOps, it's about the developers. Um, it's about the, the new world of bringing cloud native applications and driving them into the production environment. Um, I think that, you know, at, we heard that at, at VMworld uh, with Pat Gelsinger um, and where his, his pillars of, you know, build, run, protect, connect um, are key aspects. So, you know, if you look at that management component, Protect falls right into that area, right? Because with the growth of data as we're seeing it today, um, the need to manage that in a cloud native realm becomes even more prevalent and important. You know, we've seen DevOps mature over the last couple of years, right? You see, you know, we had 8,000 people in Seattle, right? Now we had 12,500 of your best friends, and it's just going to grow, right? Uh, I'm, I'm sure you saw that, right? Yeah, absolutely, huge growth there, and I'm, I'm glad you brought up the protect thing, because when I think about developers, we want to reduce the friction for developers to be able to build their apps. Uh, you think about DevOps is, you know, is keeping agility uh, going, but, you know, where is the data, and how do I make sure that, you know, we, we know when we go to a cloud world, we still need to think about security, we still need to think about data management and data protection there, right. so uh, explain for our audience how that protect piece uh, fits into the DevOps world. Well, you know, um, for first, we, we should clarify a little bit, right, because like, over the last two years, everything's been about security within containers. Right, and that's great because you're protecting the applications and people are worried about, about penetration there. Um, and, and it's been fantastic, and I think that today, um, specifically around the aspect of securing the application and now securing the infrastructure is key. You know, storage has become a very, very relevant topic, uh, whether it's like persistent volumes taking center stage. Right, when it comes to cloud native apps moving into production because it's about protecting those mission critical workloads. And as you just stated, you have your applications, but at the end of the day, your data right, is really the capital. Right? And that's what you really need to focus on. Um, and it becomes greater, of greater importance when you have that holistic discussion about DevOps. Right? And so now we have the aspect of the Kubernetes administrator meets the IT administrator. Right, and having to be able to protect um, through this application transformation that's being driven by cloud native complexity and that you know, traditionally was disaggregated from the infrastructure. But now as you mature and you look at those production and mission critical environments, you really have to pay attention to how am I going to protect my data from the edge to core to cloud and in that cloud native world. 
Yeah, uh, definitely is uh, one of those areas we, we found at the conference, uh, for many it's a steep learning curve to try to understand, you know, Kubernetes, all of these cloud native architectures. Right. Um, if you come in there with a traditional infrastructure role, that was actually something we were discussing more a couple of years ago was some of the basic blocking and tackling of networking and storage inside of uh, a container environment. Um, but now a lot of discussion is around that application uh, d development and therefore we need to make sure that we're, we're having uh, not only the app dev, but the infrastructure team, all understanding how everything goes together, uh, and you know, protection, of course, a critical piece there. Oh, absolutely, and and you know, if if we look at all the different projects that are underway under CNCF, I mean, it's fantastic, right? I mean, there's so much momentum. Everyone's now also looking at that infrastructure, right? I mean, last year was all about the service mesh, right? So I think that we're at that inflection point that now it's going to be a lot about the storage and protecting that storage. If you look at Project Valero. Right, so Project Valero was an, is an open source project under CNCF, right, being driven um, by the work that was done uh, by the the, uh, the 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 actor formerly known as Heptio, right. So we got Joe Bita, right. You got um, Craig McClucky and the work that they've done, and it started out as Arc. Well, now Dell EMC and, and specifically obviously the data protection team is working and contributing um, hand in hand with the VMware team on Valero. And I think you'll see that resonate through the future of Tanzu and, and Pacific as we go forward. Great, uh, let's connect the dots now between what we're doing at uh, the CNCF KubeCon show, uh, and now we've got AWS reInvent mm. coming up. So uh, Amazon might not let us use, let, use the word multi-cloud uh, in, in that, that, that context there, but absolutely, that was the conversation uh, at many of the other uh, shows this year is you know hybrid cloud, multi-cloud, uh, how customers get their arms around all these environments. So, um, you know, help us understand how, how this story that we were just talking about for cloud native environment fits into the broader kind of public cloud discussion. Oh, absolutely. So, you know, I think one of the key aspects to that is around consistency, right? So being able, from a data protection perspective, being able to protect all that valuable data that you have, whether it's in premises, whether it's in cloud, whether it's multi-cloud or hybrid, and you want to be able to protect that holistically using the same capabilities that you have from your premises base into or out of or within cloud, right? So I want to be able to, within AWS, be able to protect my data from region to region, right? So we've got a great offering for VMware Cloud on AWS. Um, it allows you to protect into um, and within the cloud itself. So you can protect in and extend out to the cloud. Yeah, uh, definitely uh, probably one of the most interesting partnerships I think the, the industry has been watching the last two years is you know VMware and AWS, yeah. you know, the dominant virtualization you know, in your data center environment and you know, the leader in public cloud. So uh, looking forward to hearing some proof points uh, at the conference. A any, give us a little bit of a uh, uh, hint as to what we'll be seeing and hearing about at the show? Well, I think you'll hear a lot about that consistency with regards to you know, observability, orchestration, automation, automation become so key as you take your workflows for data protection from the premises to the cloud and having that consistency. I think you'll also see some pretty pretty significant numbers coming forth with regards to how much um, data is being protected in, in AWS. Okay, uh, definitely looking forward to that. Uh, always love look, looking forward to the customers. All right, Nelson, why don't you give it the, the, the last word. Uh, what else should we be looking for, your team, uh, kind of end of 2019 going into 2020? Well, you know, I think it all starts with uh, cloud and multi-cloud. Right, that's our core focus, that's where we're driven to. I think you'll see innovation, um, especially in the cloud native space that we have. I think you'll see further innovation in, in, the, uh, in the cybersecurity, in the cyber recovery space around data protection. So I think those are really key elements that, uh, that you'll see more from. Yeah, uh, absolutely super important discussions uh, around data, around security, and everything there. Nelson, thank you so much for joining us here in theCUBE. Stu, thank you. All right, uh, be sure to check out siliconangle.com for exclusive content leading up to and after AWS reInvent, of course, and uh, check out thecube.net. Uh, if you're not at the show, if you are at the show, come to the center of the show floor at, at the Venetian inside the Sands Convention Center. You can find uh, myself, Dave Vellante, John Furrier, uh, and our whole team there for three days wall-to-wall -wall coverage uh, for our last big show of the year. And uh, I'm Stu Miniman. Thank you for watching theCUBE. Thank <laughs> you.